Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden and we're finally ready to enter this door that apparently has a girl's scent behind it. Could it be Yukiko? Well, it'd be weird if it wasn't because it's the only person we've seen in here as of late. And well, it is Yukiko, but also someone else. My prince won't lose to guards such as this, correct? Ah, I've never seen such a strong one before. It's attacking us! Wow! Ah! This is our first mini boss of sorts versus the Avenger Knight. Now, this guy could either be super easy or super hard depending on the version of the game you're playing. If you're playing the vanilla version of Persona 4, super easy. He's weak to all four elements. But in this game, he's only weak to one thing, which is fire. And up to this point, really only one main Persona has access to Aki skills. So if you did not get him, you might have a rough time, but since we do have him, we should be fine. Our first turn, we're basically just going to buff ourselves and debuff the boss. We're going to prioritize buffs on Narukami, because as you know, we have Okabak, which we're going to switch to right now and pretty much light this guy on fire with our Agi attacks. Now since we are plus one and he is negative one, this is going to do a ton of damage. And then we're going to get an all out attack. Nice. This should be well over 200 damage. Come, or actually, no, not this all-out attack, but you know, oh well, not really. So pretty much, we just got a turn with 160 damage. Now this boss, in itself, only has around 900 HP, which shouldn't be a problem until he does that, which he'll cast Red Wall, which isn't too great. Similar to when we fought Shadow Chie, bosses have, have a tendency to block their weakness. So, since we can't really go for fire attacks anymore, let's go back to Izanagi and try a Zero attack. Now, we're still going to do pretty respectable damage, since the boss still has the debuff of Rakunda, and we still have the Taru Kanja. Now, I don't know why I just used Bufu. That wasn't a good idea. Probably should do him for a physical attack. However, the one thing that does make this boss a little tricky is when it goes for a power charge. A lot of new players are going to underestimate that amount of damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my entire team to guard. Just so none of us get one-shotted by any of its attacks. And right, the defense is going to get reverted. And luckily he went for Chie, who has like a ton of HP. So, you know, not bad. Now this boss, in all honesty, not impossible. And I def definitely am well prepared, but... It is something to keep in mind. This game is not a pushover, even in the Vita version, I gotta say. You're never completely prepared for anything. Well, I guess maybe a couple attacks or fights. Whatever. And you're going for power charge again, really, dude? You're, you're almost dead. <laughs> guess he's trying to take one of us with us. I bash my dude more. I'm not too sure on Yosuke. I feel like his spells never really do a lot of damage, but he always gets crits, like every time I play with Yosuke. I don't really know him, man. Anyways, now that the red wall is gone, we can just use our Aki skill again. And since we still have our buff, eh, we can do a fair amount of damage. But I'm not going to use an all-out attack and instead just go for another Aki, just to make sure that we beat it. All right. First mini boss down, not too bad. <laughs> I kind of thought that'd go a little bit worse, and oh, wow, we're level 10 already, not bad. And Ukabak is leveling up. You got a shinier new spoon and everything. Nice. And oh boy, panic boost. Can't wait to use that ability. Not really. We're probably not gonna use that. On. Dang, everyone got a level from that fight. Not bad. Now that we have defeated the Avenger Knight, we're gonna get the glass key. And <laughs> if you really are my prince, then we will surely meet again. I'm but a trapped soul. I cannot leave this place even if I wished. <laughs> Okay, and I don't sense her anymore! Hmm! Oh, are you okay, Sensei? I'm sure we've got a long way to go! Don't push yourself too hard! If you're tired, you should head back- Shut up, Teddy! I know my limits! Gosh, and now that we defeated the Avenger Knight, we can pretty much fully explore this floor with no risk of being teleported around, which is pretty nice. What isn't really nice is now, my next goal is to get around to level 15, and the door is locked, but we use our glass key to open it. And oh boy. Hey, Mr. Shadow. 
More repeat battles, nothing really worth showing, and she is a bit low. She probably heal her up and alright. Not what I really wanted, some go homes. I mean, I'll take them, but they're not really that great. Let's use our lifestone on me and also Chie, just so we can top each other off. And maybe, yeah, Yosuke can heal us a bit too. Yosuke is just, he has a ton of SP just lying around. I really need to use that more than the items, actually, but. You know, I'm trying to conserve everybody's resources for this area's boss, which we're going to be coming up to relatively soon. We have a couple more floors to explore, and then I'm probably going to head back down to the earlier floors and get back some of my SP. Now, you're probably wondering... Eh, don't fight me, please. We're good. Nice. I think you attacked someone else but missed. Sweet. Um, what I mean by that is, if you go back to the first floor, you can usually beat everybody without using SP or too much HP. You can pretty much just auto-attack them down. And eventually you'll get a cup, and in other words, she's a manager. Now that was a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can get an interview with her. Excuse me. Shut up! Hey, you could go solo. Why don't I ask you something? Is it true the announcer's staying at your family's inn? D shut up, shut up! Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have a lot of male visitors. Leave me alone. I'm sick of it. I don't get what's going on with all these voices! I can sense that we're getting closer. Hang in there! Alright, so it seems, uh, yeah, that... Yukiko... It's kind of pressured, or... I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of people inquiring about... Her in. That seems to be causing her a lot of stress, and... Oh, we actually found a new enemy! Darn it, she used a skill card on Ukaba! God dang it. We have the Positive King. Now, the Positive King is only weak to two things, light and darkness. We don't have either of those, so what are we supposed to do? Well, we're pretty much just do the best we can. I'm gonna try auto attack with Yosuke, and he missed. Well, and Makajam! No thank you, I do not like to be silenced. Let's actually hit up that uh, Phantom Mage in the back with a Zeo attack, and actually I think we can just beat him with two Zeos. Yeah, I guess we should do that. And we're going to wait for the Positive King to actually summon his allies. I guess Chie can go for Skewer, but outside of that... Primarily... <sighs> Are you serious? <laughs> this king is formidable, man. The primary way you beat this enemy is actually by getting extra turns off the enemy that it summons. The secret Bambingo, or... B Bambino? Yeah, Bambino. I don't know why it's really named that. I guess it's a play on words of baby or something, but... Yes. The secret of Bambino is <laughs> is weak to all four elemental attacks, so you're going to probably use that to get some extra turns, and okay, go ahead and hit the guy that's uh, strong against electricity, I don't mind. Uh, I guess he kind <sighs> Never mind, he actually hit Yosuke and then retreated, that's not great. What do we want here? Probably the XP up, honestly. That's kind of what I want the most, to be honest with you. I'm going to try and get up to level 15, because as I said before, we're going to try and beat this place in one go. And to make that go the easiest way possible, I'm going to have to basically just do a bunch of grinding and then exit. And yes, we're going to teach that to Okabak. So we will be able to deal with those positive kings later on. And maybe pass that skill on to someone else at a later date. I want to see what's in here. So far, we're not doing so hot on items. To get to level 9, I actually had to use a fair bit of them, and oh, great. My least favorite enemies in this entire area. We've got the Magical Magnus. Magus. I don't know why I always put an N in there. And also, the Heat Balance. Now, the Magical Magnus is only weak to one thing, and that's light. And guess what? We don't have any light attacks, and the Heat Balance is weak to nothing. So what do we do here? Um, well, first thing we're not going to do is we're not going to use any fire or ice skills on the heat balance because it'll completely nullify them. Actually, is it just complete? No, it completely blocks them out outright if memory serves me right. So we're probably going to be using mostly physical attacks here. Do I want to use that? Yeah, I'm going to use that. My trick with Persona games is just to burst down one enemy at a time, so you can focus your attention on a single target when the time comes. And Alright, this Magical Magnus, he's pretty much... He's really, really strong, and he does not like Chie. He's gonna probably blast her with some... Should I block? No, I'm good. Uh, some fire attacks and probably get an extra turn off that. But hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, we can prevent him from doing that, and I think he's actually gonna go first. So no matter what, yeah, we're going to take damage here. 
Which is a bummer, but hey, it's not the end of the world. And Hysterical Slap is going to do a ton of damage. But hey, can't keep a girl, girl down. Let's just go with the skewer and knock this enemy out. Really need to get some light personas, but at this point in time, you can only hold so many. I think six is the maximum. And hey, Yuzanagi's still getting some levels. Not bad. Not bad at all. Though I think at this point, though, Ukabak is actually going to do more damage. And hurry up. No, actually... I think Izanagi has more magic, which is weird, because I always felt like Izanagi was more of a physical persona anyways, despite him really just not getting... Actually, no, he has the same amount of physical and magical attacks, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I just felt like the sword was kind of his main thing, but, yeah. I do have an equipment on right now that I got from a golden chest, which does increase my magic a bit, and alright, hey, we found the stairs, not bad. Another shadow. That I defeated rather quickly, despite it taking a lot of my resources. Luckily, we just picked up another soul drop, which isn't going to heal a ton of our SP, but hey, some is better than none when it comes to this area. And Okay, that cures all status items. <laughs> I always forget what that um item is called, because... Yeah, it's mostly called a Pacha Gym in most Shin Megami Tensei games, and we pretty much explored this floor, so you might as well go up to the last real floor of Yukiko's castle, and my prince, please hurry and take me away somewhere to a world where no one knows me. It's close! She's just beyond here. So this is pretty much the last true floor of the castle. Once we find the stairs, we can challenge the boss. But as I've spoken about many times, since this is a special run, we're doing a 100% run, I'm going to have to make sure that after defeating the boss, I have an adequate level for the next dungeon. And if I don't, it's actually going to cause a couple problems, because I'm going to have to come back to... I did not expect to find the stairs that quickly, <laughs> but yes! I want to make sure I'm an adequate enough level to not only beat this boss, but also take on the next dungeon. So I'm going to grind up real fast, and then I'll meet you back in the entrance to the TV world. And alright, I am back. Now the primary reason that I wanted to get so many levels is so that we can carry more Personas. And in my battling, I actually gathered quite a few. The first of which being Valkyrie, which we're going to use to fuse. Now this Persona has Bufu, which is a spell that we actually have not been able to use yet. Also, we're going to fuse a level 4 slime, because at level 4, it gets red wall, which, well, creates a wall against fire attacks, which is also going to be pretty important. And we're going to combine these two personas with the angel to create Oberon, king of the fairies, level 12 emperor. We're going to put on these skills, Rakunda, Bufu, and red wall. This persona, in my opinion, is one of the best for this next boss fight, because not only does it resist fire attacks, but it can learn some pretty good moves. And hey, the innate attack it comes with isn't bad either. And oh god, I love the Persona 4 fusing. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh man, just take it all in. <gasps> oh, I love that, man. <laughs> Anyways, I am Oberon. This sword shall be used in your name. Thanks, dude! Yeah. So we're gonna combine three Personas to get a new persona. But before we go, we actually need to go to our compendium and resummon a persona of the Strength Arcana. So that once we're done here in the dungeon, we can actually level up our social links a bit faster. And let's go all the way down to Strength and pick ourselves up another Sandman. Mostly because he costs less yen. Now that's been taken care of, let's get ready to fight the boss on the 8th floor. And alright, with Oberon in hand, we're finally ready to take on the boss of this dungeon and... Her smell? That must be her! She's right behind this door! It seems we finally tracked down Yukiko, so let's open this door up and confront her. Yukiko! I knew it! There's two of her! Oh? Ooh, what's this? Three princes are here to see me, my, my. Are you the surprise guests who came in late? Oh, I wish I'd gotten a better look at you. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? A land far, 
far away where no one knows me. If you're my prince, you'd take me there, won't you? Come on, pretty please? Oh, is this scoring a hot stud? Three princes? Wait, does that include me too? Duh, the third one's gotta be me. I seriously doubt that. Chie. <laughs> yes, she's my prince. She always leads the way. Chie's a strong prince. Or at least she was. Was? When it comes down to it, Chie's just not good enough. She can't take me away from here. She can't save me. Yukiko! Stop. Historic Inn? Manager training? I'm sick of all these things chaining me down! I never asked to be born here. Everything's decided for me, from how I live to where I die. I'm so sick of it! To hell with it all! That's not true. I just want to go somewhere far away. Anywhere but here. Someone please take me away. I can't leave here on my own. I'm completely useless. Stop. Please stop. I have no hope if I stay and no courage to leave. So I sit on my ass hoping that someday my prince will come. I don't care where we go. Anywhere's fine. As long as it's not here, I don't give a damn. Historical tradition, pride of the town, what a bunch of bullshit! How dare you? That's how I really feel. Isn't that right, me? No! Stop! Don't say it! No! You're not me! <laughs> Feels wonderful. It's building more and more. If this keeps up, I'll. I'll. in danger we know it's all right yukiko just hang in there we'll save you i am a shadow the true self now my prince why don't we dance and make merry together <laughs> Hang in there, Yukiko! I'm right here for you! Oh, really? Then I'll make sure to give you plenty to deal with! Yikes! This is one tough enemy! You can say that again, Teddy. Shadow Yukiko is definitely one of the largest difficulty spikes in the game. This boss is no joke, but since we are relatively prepared, we should be fine. However, we must stay diligent. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our buffs and debuffs up and then begin to exploit her weakness, which is ice. Now, two of the three party members that we have actually have this skill. So every chance we can get, we're going to want to use it. Okay. The all-out attack should add a very large chunk of damage onto our turns. Okay, double thing coming out. And it missed. Good job, Yosuke. All right. So now that the Rakunda is up, we're going to switch into Oberon, who, come to think of it, also had Rakunda. So maybe going to Izanagi wasn't important. And then we're going to use a Bufu again. So every time that it's Chie or Narukami's turn, we're going to want to use Bufu just so we can launch an all-out attack. Yosuke, on the other hand, really isn't going to get to do that much because, well, he doesn't have any ice attacks. So Garu will pretty much just have to suffice for the time being. 82 damage, though, is really nothing to scoff at. And even though Chie does not have the best magic stat, she's still going to do a lot of damage because we're going to get an all-out attack after she uses her spell. And pretty much, this is the fight. What? Are you trying to make me mad? 
No, I actually think I'm succeeding in that fact. And now she will set up White Wall. Now we cannot use any ice attacks, they will become resisted. So for the time being, we're gonna basically just stick to our physical attacks and let Yosuke do whatever. Now keep in mind, White Wall will not last forever, so don't burn all of your SP just yet. Yeah, let's just go for Skewer with Chie. <laughs> we're not done yet. Show me this strength of yours. Come, my prince. <laughs> And now is where things get a little tricky. She's going to summon her Prince, who actually is not weak to ice at all, and in fact is weak to electricity. So I recommend you definitely bring Izanagi for this fight to, well, knock that enemy down. We want to get the Prince down to a certain amount of HP to where it will flee, and great, we got the Dizzy, not bad. So I'm going to be focusing not my attention on Shadow Yukiko, but the Prince, because the Prince can actually heal Shadow Yukiko, which is a horrible thing to happen. He will heal for quite a lot, okay? Defense is gonna get reverted, and oh, I thought she would actually use a fire attack on Chie this turn, but decided not to. That is fine. We're just gonna use another zeal attack on the Prince. Doing pretty respectable damage, and then to start to heal up Narukami. Her double fang attack actually can potentially do a lot of damage. So you gotta watch out for that. Always keep your party members topped off, and okay. Now that it is, hmm. I guess we can just go for Mabufu. Wait, did White Wall actually fade yet? No, it didn't. Well, that's fine. It'll actually do a respectable amount of damage to the Prince. And Makajam! Okay, that is not great. She is going to get silenced and... Ooh, giving a passionate stare. That is usually not a good sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and knock down the Prince again. Then go into Oberon and cast Red Wall. So Chie cannot actually be... Actually, hmm... Should I go for Boof? Yeah, let's actually go for Bufu instead. I think we can just set Chie to guard, and that should be fine. But if you're worried that she's going to keep getting attacked... Hmm. Maybe I... Yeah, let's just, do it. let's do it anyways, just to showcase what happens. Just keep in mind that Chie is weak to fire, and that Red Wall is an ability that negates that for three turns. Kind of a great thing to have. Let's uh, do that, and yeah, he should run away soon. The agility is going to fade, but as long as we have this item, we can actually get rid of our silence and next turn hit Shadow Yukiko up with another ice attack, and the Prince should now escape. Perfect! This boss fight is definitely going the way I want it to. My Prince! My dear Prince! Why? Why won't he come? No one's coming! Now's your chance to attack! So now that the Prince has been banished and will never become summoned again, we can just keep pelting Shadow Yukiko with ice and getting all out attacks. There's really no other concern. Once you get rid of the first Prince, the battle's pretty much over. The best that she can do is protect yourself with another red wall, but as long as you keep your party members healthy and keep Chie's weakness protected, you should be fine. And coming to think, yeah, we'll just use another Bufu. I'd like to use Tarukaja on Narukami, but the fact remains, that's kind of risky with our amount of SP, and I really want to prioritize using Bufu attacks because you just can't, like, the all out attacks just said so much damage to our turns, and another double thing, that one actually will connect on Yosuke, which isn't an issue, he still has a respectable amount of HP. Let's try and use another Bufu attack. 85 more damage. Oh man, this is looking good. But. Instead of using another all-out attack, I'm going to go ahead and use a Rakunda, just to make sure everyone else can do a little bit more damage. I recommend you always key up Rakunda whenever you can, because as simple as that, it's just having a buff on the enemy makes you do a lot more damage. Hmm. Looks like I have the wrong idea. You're no princes! Die, you worthless commoners! At around 25% HP, Yukiko will now have a brand new attack. Terror Voice, and also something else. Ooh, that is not good, that, that hit. Luckily, we still have another status healing item, the Haryana. We can use that and get rid of Yosuke's fear. So he can pretty much just heal himself back up, and everything will be good to go. But now is the point where things get a bit scary. It seems at this point... Shadow Yukiko will focus Chie a bit more, which is obviously a problem. So we don't want that, so I'm going to try my best to hurry up and finish this fight as quickly as possible. 
Okay, 125. Not horrible. Here comes the white wall. So there goes our, well, ice attack abuse. So I think we're just going to go for arm chopper again. Hopefully we can get both hits of this physical attack. Yeah, we did actually. Nice. That doesn't always happen. It pretty much just is a random factor. But when you can get it, it's great. 103. I don't think we'll actually see the fire attack coming from Shadow Yukiko. That'd be great. Heck on. Oh, it missed. Well, oh, here it comes. Burn to ashes. If that hits Chie, you're going to have a bad time. Luckily, it didn't. So let's go for one last attack and then this boss. You did it, Sensei! Another level for me! No, I'm not. We understand. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Yukiko, I'm sorry. I was so self-centered that I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... I'm so sorry. Chie. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. You had everything that I didn't. That jealousy was like a wall, and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me. But it was me who needed you. I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. If you weren't by my side, I... I wouldn't know what to do. Chie, I never saw the real you either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. I want to run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me too. I understand now. You're me. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. Of course! Thank you. <laughs> Don't even mention it. I'm just so glad you're safe! <laughs> right on. So, who threw you in here? Huh? Who are you? Rather, what are you? I'm Teddy! So who threw you in? I don't know. I think... someone called my name. But my memory's a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry... um... Teddy? No new clues. Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Hmm... Then it really isn't you guys. And <laughs> just joking. You little, you're one lying sack of honey. Anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. Thanks again, Teddy. Uh, wait, you're leaving me here? Leaving you? What are you talking about? You live here. Well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, Teddy. I promised to come again. So be a good boy and wait here until then. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Come on, pretty please? Ah, you're giving me the creeps! That's it, you're stuck here for the rest of your life.
Yukiko, are you all right? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No, I'm just a little tired. I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything. Well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was, um, attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. You know, Teddy was saying something like that. <sighs> it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. What kind of person could be doing this? over it some other day. Yukiko really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. Hi there. We got off work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. I can still work you harder, you know. <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> uh... Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Yeah, for us on the force too. But this doesn't mean the case is closed though. We were just questioning Miss Amagi. But she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period either. It's like she really disappeared. It's all pretty fishy if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Stop blabbering, dumbass. Sorry. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Yeah, don't give it a second thought. Sheesh. He's a real pain sometimes. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. <laughs> So you do have a softer side around Nanako-chan, sir. Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. Hm. I should do the same. And guys, that was just about do it for this episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. I really hope you enjoyed, because in the next episode, we're not going to go to back to a dungeon and instead do some more social links. So see you guys then. Bye.